Some on this mostly Hindu island consider him the king of Bali. For decades, Gade Warwatha and his family have owned scores of businesses in the tourism industry, including the site of one of the 2002 bombings, Patty's Bar. So involved is his family that they came close to starting up their very own Balinese airline, evidenced by the scores of model planes in his own home. <laughs> on this day, Warwatha is taking us on a driving tour of what is a wrecked Balinese economy. Perhaps a good indicator here of how things have changed for this businessman. He has not driven himself in 15 years. He hasn't had to. Maybe last six months I tried to drive and my wife said, well, be careful because you don't know how to drive. Sometimes I drive with my wife and I don't know where we go. His driving acumen may be a bit hazy, but the head of the Chamber of Commerce in Bali does know where the local economy is going, down. And it could take Indonesia's economy with it as Bali contributes a lion's share of 65 percent of Indonesia's total tourist dollars and some 18 percent of the country's GDP. This all according to Indonesia's Commerce Department. Our first stop, a woodcarver. This sole proprietor has owned his business for more than 15 years and has never seen business so bad. He tells me that business has been down some 80 to 90 percent and that he has had to let some 50 percent of his staff go. Where 500 tourists came each day before, he may only see 10, he says. It could get worse, says this owner and others. They worry about another attack. On our way to the next stop, Raratha expresses the exasperation of a possible third attack. Who going to take responsibility our culture? Who take responsibility our our community here? Our community in Bali is very unique, you know. Bali's new chief of police is responsible for security on the island, uh, and we paid him a visit. Bali, khususnya, yaitu... Given the preventive measures taken, it is possible to prevent a third bomb from coming to Bali, he told me. To help the chief see that through, some 11,000 officers are at his disposal, and he says roughly 8 percent are specifically devoted to anti-terror efforts on Bali Island with its population of 3.3 million. All said, about the same number of police per capita as some large western cities. Those police are not quelling concerns, though, as many Australians, the main source of tourism, still stay away from Bali and Legian Street, the site of the 2002 Bali bombings. The rocks underfoot here look like any other, except we're at ground zero for the bomb that flattened Patty's Bar. The locals treat this site almost as a cemetery. It's flat, undecorated. The only thing missing are the tombstones. What's striking, though, is that after nearly four years from the initial attack, this site in the heart of the once thriving Bali business district remains undeveloped, representative of the city's 70 to 80 percent drop in business receipts. Just 100 yards away, the site of the new Patty's Bar. While it reopened three years ago, it remains almost empty. Baratha says he rebuilt it because it represents his commitment to Bali. Lights are blazing and sound system pounding, but few to be found and no business to be had. Only Ruatha and his hopes for his resort island. Richard Louis, CNN, Bali, Indonesia.